Hello and welcome to this Blitz Report tutorial. Today I'm going to be explaining how we can create rapid reports using the Enterprise Command Center standard Oracle queries um, and deliver these as concurrent reports either directly in your form uh, to replace the outdated export functions or these um, well all of these reports will go through the concurrent uh, request system mechanism anyway um, reports are delivered to Excel um, without XML so obviously much faster um, so without further ado so the process would be um, from the Enterprise Command Center we basically are effectively importing the same query so we've got single source of truth um, and then we're going to create the report directly in EBS through the import process and then we'll uh, I'll demonstrate how we create the Excel report and then how further you take it one step and attach it to any of the EBS forms. Okay so starting with um, Blitz report it can be installed on any menu as you can see. Um, if we were to go to uh, one of the one of the modules using the Enterprise Command Center um, I'll just get that into this, the right area and then if we now uh, pop across into um, ECC uh, and I'll show you the command center uh, how it looks so from uh, those of you using Enterprise Command Center will be already familiar with this um, each of these uh, tabs on the dashboard uh, represent a query that we're going to be importing. As you can see here, we've got an outstanding balance of 92.23 million. Uh, and then we could go across and have a look at these other tabs. We'll just start by looking at the open receivables. Uh, and then I'll show you how we then uh, are able to generate that report. Uh, back into the product. And now if we go into Blitz report, um, if we now query um, uh, a script for receivables you can see here we've got all the matching scripts so th this particular one uh, is the outstanding receivables if I click on setup now this function is available to uh, development whereas a normal business user would just get the ability to run the report so if I actually go into setup you see here now I'm actually going to create a report from a fresh um, and again, very straightforward. You either cut and paste or, or at least paste your SQL in here, or you use one of the several import utilities. And these are allowing you to bring in your favorite types of reports, whether it's BI Publisher, or you know you maybe want to bring in a concurrent program, a discoverer uh, worksheet, or indeed you could bring in uh, your ones if you're phasing out ones. Uh, Enterprise Command Center and in our next version which is coming next week we will have the Polaris um, import function so those of you looking to replace um, any of these uh, reports can simply import them. In this particular case we're going to import one of the 220 uh, active Enterprise Command Center reports and so you just simply uh, come in here and you choose which particular module you're interested uh, which dashboard query from which module you're interested in bringing in um, and the one we were interested in is the outstanding receivables report which is going to match this dashboard uh, report we've got here now we're going to be bringing down this data uh, into our report and, I, and i'll just show you the comparison um, because obviously you can export uh, reports from the enterprise command center using csv uh, albeit it does require uh, a certain amount of um, formatting, reformatting, and there are certainly data limits as well involved. So if I just show you how to do the um, standard Oracle method, which is using CSV, uh, I'll just show you what that looks like and over, overcome that message uh, in case it obviously uh, Excel is trying to protect us. So this is uh, CSV uh, from the Enterprise Command Center. As you can see, as a user, you've got to do quite a bit of reformatting, uh, perhaps change some of these uh, columns, left justify, flip the data types, a little bit messy. So our preference and many of our users' preference 
is to basically bring into these reports into the EBS uh, environment rather than having to export in from here uh, much better to bring them in here so as you can see if I select this report now click import it will then directly bring in all of the SQL that's behind this particular dashboard query here um, now as a, as a uh, creator of reports now because I'm a developer effectively you can see I, I've got the ability to change this SQL I can add to it if I, if I wanted to I can then build up uh, parameters so um, we always default the organize uh, the operating unit um, parameter um, but you can easily select from uh, an array of existing uh, parameters so you see in this case I've got one here uh, which is around the accounting date um, and then if I say period from and then if I say period two you see you get the uh, how straightforward this is so you basically then pick your accounting date um, these columns here or at least this column I'm selecting here um, from the you know the previously saved uh, parameters has to obviously match the query um, otherwise that won't work but relatively straightforward for anybody with uh, SQL skills now if we look at the assignment this is um, where we uh, attach it to a given application operating unit or a request group typically you would do it at a request group level um, in this case I'm going to do it at a user level because I'm still in uh, very much in development mode and then further you can attach it to a uh, and so from here you've got the ability to um, basically go and attach it to any any form so we'll just uh, have a little look um, for receivables forms um, and then here I've got the ability to then attach it to any of these uh, standard uh, receivables forms here and these will start with uh, AR so um, for example I could add it to the uh, transactions form or um, receivable you see here batches or, or so on and so forth so we'll, we'll go and attach it to the batch form um, you can get the name of the form uh, from doing a help about Oracle applications for those of you who've ever looked at that as you look at, at any of the forms um, within the help message as you scroll down the form name is always um, you know just a little page down from the top there so uh, current form and then you get the name of the form but uh, you can also use the list of values we provide you there which will give you the meaningful name of the form you can further you can take uh, information from the form and pass it as a parameter uh, so for example if you wanted to pass the customer name from a particular block you could certainly do that um, so the, the zoom once we enable it, it will illuminate this little uh, standard button from Oracle. Um, you can further, you can categorize these. Now they're always, because the 220 reports that we bring in, we automatically assign them the Enterprise Command Center category, and that will help the user classify these and, and ease the searching for the reports. Um, so that was it, very quick. Um, quick introduction the for, for those of you who are tracking version um, you can click into here and every time you make a change to the report you can then start to put your version control detail in in here um, you know about who developed it uh, and when it was then subject to different test cycles because also um, throughout you can actually export any of your reports that you develop and then you can migrate them into your different instances as you go through the different testing cycles or indeed as uh, some of our customers do um, because this is all read only um, and we apply the security policies from Oracle um, then you could effectively develop directly into into your production system it, it's it's entirely up to you as you get confident with the system you, you may decide to do that um, we'll go ahead and run this as you'll see uh, our parameter is now available here uh, I'm not going to put any parameters in because I'm just making making sure that um, I run this in exactly the same way as as was done in the command center um, and I just want to see if we can reconcile back to our our 92.3 million uh, as I recall you see here we're going through the concurrent manager you saw the statuses um, on um, on the blitz report form and these 
would go directly through the concurrent request system. So whilst we've created a report, we haven't had to register in the concurrent um, in system administrator as a concurrent program. Uh, and the actual report name is basically a prefix to um, our Blitz report, which is the only object that's been or program that's been registered. Um, so all of these reports reside in the Blitz report architecture tables. Um, and so, you know, they're available immediately for usage. So let's have a look at the outputs. Typically, that would just open automatically for you. Um, and, you know, the real difference is noticed immediately. We haven't had to reformat our data. Our um, data types are correctly set and we've got filters. So, you know, compared to our um, previous report, which was basically this uh, rather unsophisticated CSV, uh, which, you know, also performs rather slowly compared to the Excel that we've just generated. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do some summation. From left to right, we've got uh, all the good information you would expect about the customer billing and the transaction types. So you can do all your filtering there. Then you've got your accounted uh, amounts over here. So we're just going to sum up the whole of these just to make sure that everything is in order and that we have indeed got uh, a single source of truth, which we should because it's an Oracle query. Uh, and there we've got our, our, our number there. And I'll just format uh, that so you can see um, into the number uh, style. And you can see here, we've got 92 million, um, uh, two, three, three, six, nine, three. Um, so, you know, those of you who are into your maths will realize that that's the same number as available over here. Okay, so that, that was the, the first thing we can do. Now we can go into Oracle, uh, back into receivables where we were. Um, we can close this this um, developed report now. This literally took us uh, a few seconds. You can also bring these in on mass. So before we, we actually go there, I'll just show you. If you go to the Enginatics uh, website, um, the library are there, or the library's there for you to use and download all of the reports you need anyway. Um, <clears throat> you can do these also. Uh, these will all come in during the installation process and you can search for the different reports here. But within the um, within the, the user guide, um, there's a whole section on what I'm covering here. So within the enterprise command center or whichever type of report you choose to import, um, the, all the functions are listed in here and the script. So if you want to do this on a mass basis, uh, you could simply come in here and you could grab the uh, mass import uh, script and then that will bring all of them in at once rather than doing them individually as, as I've just done. And then, of course, um, as the different versions of the command center change, because already this year we've had two, we've had version four, now we're on version five, you may wish to delete and then re-import the latest uh, versions of those reports. Uh, so back to the application, we assigned this. If you're, if you can, we're keeping up with me. Uh, uh, that was a while ago. We we assigned this to the uh, bill receivable transaction uh, batches. Um, so if we were to now go and have a look at uh, our bills receivable transaction batches, we should have this indicator here. So before you know you do any work, perhaps you just want to go ahead, uh, run your report. Um, and this, this becomes particularly useful when you're looking at processes around period end close, uh, which are also part of the dashboard. Um, so, you know, the, there are several dashboard functions that allow you to um, sort of speed up your uh, period end by just basically providing you with a simple overview of, um, you know, what outstanding transactions you've got uh, for your period end uh, work. And, and typically, you know, you'd probably put these uh, transactions on the period close form uh, and ha or have this scheduled uh, to deliver you the list of uh, open transactions that, that, that are available. Uh, so if we just go back into the application, I'll just uh, so we can get a bit more familiar with this. Um, I'm just going to erase this from our screen here. And now I'm going to, to bring in the, um, the period end reports. So let's just go back to Enterprise Command Center. Again, we type receivables. 
and you, we've got the AR closing process. So in this case, we're going to import the open transaction closing report. Now you can remove this, um, you can give it a more meaningful name. I'm just going to add Glenn on the end uh, because I'm going to remove this afterwards. Um, over here, we can then add our parameters. Uh, again, uh, as I showed you, by just double clicking in here, we can add our date parameters if we want. We can pick up any of the other standard parameters like customer and so on and so forth. Um, in this case, I'm going to assign again a form level. Uh, the form I'm interested in is receivable and period. I think it's going to be something like that. Oh, define recurring periods. That's not the one I was after. Um, so let's just do that one more time and pay more attention. Uh, let me just pop in this. So it's AR. And then we've got all of our different forms here. So we would be interested in the control um, period. Uh, let's just find, see if I can find that or Perhaps it's just called period, no problem. And then we've got one here called the AR open close counting period. So this report we've got now, again, you could modify, you could put your version control information in. You can have this, um, you know, produce different types of output. So if you're sending things to Tableau or um, Microsoft Power BI, which is a common thing to do for some customers as they want to get the data out. Of course, this is real time. Um, and again, significant advantage over this, um, the Enterprise Command Center, is that these, this particular report is real time, as opposed to um, the command centers, which rely on data to be pushed um, throughout the day, morning and afternoon, and so on. So I'll go ahead and run this. Uh, hopefully this will, uh, again, tally up with our AR report. And as you can see, we've got our complete list of um, open transactions, which will particularly uh, impact our period close. So if we now go across, and I'll just close this form and this one, if we go across into our control of the um, accounting period and you see here we've got our nice report that's perfectly available here on the zoom function that oracle provide for you so we're not we're basically totally integrated with uh, standard oracle um, we're using concurrent requests we're using zooms we're using all the list of value functionality uh, and in addition we're using security um, so there's a few little uh, tricks you can do uh, whilst i'm here i'll just show you some of the other functions that uh, are available to you we have this concept of toolkits so um there are a number of different toolkits those of you into your manufacturing purchase costing they're they're available there from the professor of costing mr doug volts uh, who, who's a proponent of um, blitz report um there's the dba analytics so those of you who are uh, interested in the um, rather complicated awr this is uh, going to remove all the mystique from there and at a functional user level you can interpret all of the database uh, bottlenecks and uh, badly performing uh, sql code or pl sql uh, and then you can furnish your developers with that information um, you've got data management, which is more around the Enterprise Command Center, managing the data between uh, EBS and the Command Center. Um, easy to build metrics. Um, there, there's a couple of metrics I've built in a few minutes. Operational reporting, which is basically all of your ledgers, um, subledger, purchasing and supply chain, uh, including leasing, uh, service contracts, install base, all of those good things. And then we've got the setup and data governance um, for support. So things like um, interface, um, <clears throat> you know, operational uh, errors that you get. Uh, these are all schedule requests. All of the F and D um, analysis that you would expect around concurrent programs, uh, managers, value sets, and so on. Um, so there is an array of reports there already, um, which will. You know, and then if you bring in your 220 uh, command center reports, then you've really got yourself a powerful suite of reports that uh, are on single source of the truth. So, you, you know, you're not got any mismatch between your dashboards um, that I'm showing you here 
and how they are delivered into Blitz reports uh, directly for use in EBS. Um, my name is Glenn Whelan. If you would like to find out more uh, and would like to take a more detailed tour, uh, feel free to contact me. You can request a demonstration um, using our uh, demonstration link over here, or you can actually use our <clears throat> Enterprise Command Center uh, yourself and you can it's a completely free to use sandpit so you can go off and and experiment with some of this in your own time um there are the logon details are within the the page within the um page itself um it's obviously not going to log in because i've already got a session going um there are a number of blogs here for you to um you know help you with um uh, different ideas and this particular uh, seamless integration for the reports uh, is available here um, and also the Enterprise Command Center. We've also got many uh, different uh, articles on upgrading. Uh, there's all different articles on different business aspects like uh, asset tracking, horizontal uh, planning, uh, auditing of your data using uh, data governance reports that we've developed uh, and so on and so forth. Um, so do have a look around uh, our site. Uh, as I said, you can uh, also keep an eye on webinar events here. And, you know, there's the various tutorials and uh, all the, the good things you would expect. There's, there's also um, a supply chain hub form, which allow you to control your supply chain in an easier way than some of the standard forms that, that Oracle provide. Um, so I hope this was useful. And uh, as I said, um, Look forward to talking to you in the coming weeks um, and we will obviously look at how we can help you um, get your EBS uh, reporting going a lot quicker. Okay.